Well, hey guys, we're at Eurobike with Mustache Bikes, and we have Jan with us here, and he's going to be running us through the 2020 lineup, and there's many changes and many enhancements. I'm really excited to share this with you. And so let's get into it. Let's, let's go. All Welcome right. to the Mustache booth. All right. So we will start with the bike that is the iconic the bike. I yes, of e exactly. It just, <clears throat> when you see this, you absolutely know it's the mustache. You know it's a mustache. We have designed this bike 10 years ago. It was really the DNA of a brand. Right. Uh, when our boss started the mustache image, you know that we are an eight, L, uh, eight years old company. Uh, so it's pretty new. Yeah. Uh, and this bike but you guys started with Bosch. I mean, that's something that doesn't happen so often. Like from the beginning, you started yeah. with Bosch. So this is the Lundy, the, the iconic bike that really exactly. uh, started it all in a lot of ways, you know, since the beginning with you guys. Since the beginning, it started the brand. It had been designed 10 years ago by our boss when he was not creating mustache yeah. uh, yet. Uh, and so the idea was to have a bike that was really iconic uh, right. and started directly uh, with the Bosch system, we had a great help from Bosch since the beginning. That was really a real partner with us. Yeah. And so, and yeah. that's not so common to start right from the beginning because no. you know. But but there's a lot of expertise in the company coming from different brands, and and that was from the beginning. The the company started, and it's it's really cool to see, and you can tell from the design. Um, yeah, since the start, and that's yeah. great em to see. Emmanuel had a huge background in the bike industry, right. was pretty well known as a product manager for some famous brand here. Uh, and so when it started, yeah, he arrived with a complete new idea, he really wanted to push in uh, the e-bike yeah. uh, in a new way. So uh, yeah, since the beginning, Bosch helped us the best they can. And right. we are a real partner today, so uh, yeah, that's a great help for us. Great, and so we continue with the Lundy this year, and mm -hmm. I guess some some changes we're introducing uh, so we yeah. I guess the 26 one is more or less the same and well nothing really changed because every time we did try to change this bike was <laughs> not really working because it's kind of weird but it was nearly perfect at the beginning right that's so, true that's true <laughs> so yeah we just changed uh, we've learned it 26.3 but now have a new performance motor right the new performance motor is basically kind of the same as the active plus uh, but in a more punchy version. Right, so right. we use it on some CD that are, you know, more with some mountain inside the CD. Right. Uh, where you need to a little get more extra power. torque and that sort of thing. Right. Exactly. So. The, the most thing about the Lundy that you, you need to know is that we use a free cavity system here. It was one of the first bikes to have that kind of square tube, where right. inside you have another tube, so free cavity inside, and it really makes the rigidity of the system and it allows us to have a very precise uh, bike that is really fun to ride. Uh, this bike, you really have to ride it to understand how fun it is and how you can enjoy it. It's really our motto, you know, the smiling yeah. machine. This is a perfect first smiling machine. Absolutely, yeah, and, and that's something we find. I, I find myself riding this bike quite a bit and it's just, you're just in this proper position, really comfortable, but the bike's still sporty because it has that rigid frame and a lot of times people look at a frame like this with the low step and you think that it's just going to be kind of squirrely underneath you, exactly. but it's just, it, it just goes, it feels as rigid, sometimes more rigid than even a, a standard Normal. frame. Absolutely. That uh, was the idea with this bike. Yeah. One of the things you mentioned is the position on this bike. Yeah. The position is pretty important for us because it's kind of our DNA, the moustache DNA. Because we have this handlebar, that is what we call the moustache handlebar. Right. Because moustache, because of the you know, the shape of the handlebar. And the company is named Moustache because of this. Yes. So that's kind of pretty important. And this handlebar is what defines also the bike because right. you have this position that is so comfortable and you can ride with, with a lot of pleasure with the system. Sure, absolutely. And we got this bike here. This is kind of reminiscent of a bike that we actually used to have previously, the mm -hmm. Asphalt, yeah. which was full suspension, high speed, fenders, rack, everything. Like, You guys were one of the first ones to actually have this sort yeah, of design, really. and now it's kind of coming back, and, and I gotta say, we're super excited because high speed is really popular for us in the States, and with the mustache design, and, and now with all the integration, it's just beautiful. So. 
tell me a little bit about this. Uh, I guess I said yeah. it a lot, but you know, <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited, too, you as you too. can see. We, we are excited a lot about this bike also. You know, the regulation is really hard to reach with it, uh, this kind of bike. So it was really hard work for our R&D team. Um, and so we have, we will use the same frame as our Friday 27 FS. Yeah. So you know that one more thing with moustache is that the name of the bike define also the bike. Right. When you have Lundi in French means Monday. Right. Friday is the only English name we have on the range yeah. because it's kind of a cliche close to uh, Friday wear, <laughs> uh, you know? Uh, so it means that this bike you can use on Friday to go to work more right. easily, but you can also use it on the weekend for sure. Have fun on the weekend, that's, that's exactly. the thing. Exactly. And yeah. Friday FS for full suspension and 27, of course, for the size of the wheel. Right. So this bike, yeah, you, you're right. This is what we call a 45K or speed bike. Right. We had to follow the regulation and have first the new Bosch system for speed. It's kind of the same as the CX, yeah. but in the speed version, yeah. with, um, the torque is not coming at the, at the same time. It's worked to allow you to reach more easily the 45 uh, kilometers. And then you got some small details, <coughs> like all the supernova item, you know. We have a real light that is a supernova one. With the brake lights and everything. Brake and lights, this plate that is compliant with all the regulation we can have. Excellent. <coughs> yeah, really We're exciting. And, and then you have some more extensions to the Friday line as well. Maybe we'll look at the... This is another version of what we think a city bike could be. Right. This Friday 28, for the size of the wheels, is our fast commuter bike. You know, right. For people that want to go to work <coughs> in a very fast and effective way. Yeah. It uses exactly the same frame as the one we have for our road bike. So it's a bike that is really light. Uh, it's also something that is pretty good when you live on the third floor without lift. It's a bike that is easy to carry on the stairs. But you can also be fast and play with cars and traffic. Absolutely, yeah. Play with traffic. <laughs> I'm with you, I'm with you. And I guess it still has some sweep to the handlebars, even the Friday FS and, and this one as well, that exactly. you're not too sporty, you're not in too aggressive position. You're not position. too sporty, yeah. you want to have but some back, yeah. uh, back sweep on the handlebar to have still the same. It needs just to be a, a Just enough though, not too much not that you're too much. feeling like Still a bit sporty, control. but still yeah. a bit comfort. And it has to be a moustache, you know, as I said, right. we are the DNA, we're just not making bicycle. Right. We're making bicycles that are smiling machines. <laughs> like, no. I love it, I love exactly. it. Exactly. So making me smile. you will see by example on the bar, we have this. We have some small detail when it comes to the range. When you go right. up on the range, the one we've seen first was a very light frame with nothing on it. With this, we add, by example, the mud guards. We add uh, the QL3 rack. It's a rack where you can put only a bag on it. <coughs> Same. We have right. these plots that are pretty low instead to go to, um, sorry, to go the, down. Yeah, the standard QL2 system, this one, yeah. the QL3, it just slips right on the yes. Ortley bag system. Exactly, but this one, great. the idea was to load down the gravity center of right, the bike to right. still get a bike that is playful. Right. We have something that is really good, is this one. You may know already. Yeah, the folding handlebars stem. Yeah. This one, the idea was to have Oh, sorry, I'm not in a good position. I think the, the no. space is a little tight. Yeah, here, but it's a yeah. bit tight. So the idea of a stem is when you arrive at the train station, you have no place to put your, uh, your bike. So you just have to push it here. Really the system. I have a problem with Turn the handlebar. And so you can save 50% of space. Right, right. Because yeah. yeah, that's always right. the widest part of the, exactly. the bike. It's the handlebar. So and so the same. Just keep it narrow. If you live on a flat, you can put it on the corridor. Right, right in the hallway. Yeah. Exactly. And then this space. also has that, uh, that, that special handlebar on yeah. here that, that it's, it's it adds some kind of suspension mm, comfort. It's to, to absorb it. vibration. Right. It's made by Bar Baramind. It's a French company we work with. We help them to develop it. And you will see that when you do like that, the handlebar 
is moving and it absorbs the vibration. Right. It helps us to avoid to have a suspension fork here. Right, and keeping it lightweight, keeping it simple, low maintenance, and exactly. but still really sporty and, and fun. Because even I understand that it goes more this way, but actually the other way, maybe it's stiff where it's it needs stiff. to be and exactly. everything like exactly. that. Exactly, that's the point of this another that's, one. That's excellent. Great, okay. great. And um, so, when and we then, go up on the range, yeah, and then I guess the standard frame and then the, what's considered the open frame, right? Yes. With the we have an open topic. version, it's still the same. At Moustache, we want to open bicycle to everybody. Yeah. So yeah. we want people that are sometimes a bit too old, sometimes with a health problem, but also people that are not used to ride a bike very easily to sure. be comfortable on the bike. Right, right. If you can feel that you are secure on the bike, you will ride freely. Yes. If you have a bike you're not at ease on, it will not be yeah. good. You need so to feel comfortable and safe, yeah, without a exactly. doubt. Absolutely. Great. And oh yeah, here's the, the bag in the example. Here is right? the bag, exactly. So the the QL3 system from Ortlieb. Now you guys have your own bag, but there's also many other bags yeah. that work with this this same system from Ortlieb, which exactly. is which and is really great. You will see that we have the point here, but we have also this part here. Protect the to derailleur. protect the derailleur and allows the bag to be very low on the frame. It just clips on super easy. And if you ever wear it on your shoulder or something like that, it's much mm. better because normally you have the clips on that that exactly. bag. It's not so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not so easy. But this feature also, when you can come to the top end, is the smartphone amp from Bosch. Uh, it's a very great feature because you can release this fake yeah. telephone. But you have exactly the same feature as you can have with a Purion. Right. Uh, and when it comes to adding your telephone on, you can connect to your world. Right. So you can have a GPS, you can have all the information, you can connect yes. it to Strava, whatever, having your music, something right, that's really right. nice also when you're riding in the city. Absolutely. So a lot of nice I, We are super excited about this concept and I'm glad that you guys are introducing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, just. You're, you're really embracing all these new changes because this year Bosch introduced all sorts of new things. New motors, new displays, everything, but you, d you didn't sit on your hands, really. No, right? we, we had a lot of work because for us it was renewing nearly 80% of the range. Right. So it has been a huge work, but yeah. okay, today here it is, we are on the show, everything is ready and set, so yes. uh, we will see. All right, so you showed us the Friday FS Speed, Speed right. and now we also have the Friday FS5, which mm -hmm. is looks like the CX, if I had to guess. It is the CX. It is a CX because basically when we develop a frame, we develop it for several applications. So right. we will use this also on the X-Road family and on the mountain bike family. Great, but yeah. it's also another vision of what a city bike can be. Sure. And some people in the city need a bike that will be very comfortable. Right, and this right. is our very comfortable bike to ride through everything you can, you can have on the city. Uh, you have a full suspension system. You will see that we have a very easy sticker on it to show you which position you can use when it's really flat and where it, when it's a bit more bumpy. Right, right. Uh, this system has been developed to be very sensitive and smooth. Yes. to really provide a very smooth riding. Because that's something from the beginning too, you guys have been working with the suspension company mm -hmm. to develop suspension specific for your bike. It's not exactly. just we are taking this off the shelf, putting on our bike, and uh, exactly. but that's a, a critical thing. And that's something that I've seen since the beginning of just thinking a little outside the box. And it's not just working with the limitations mm -hmm. of these companies. And we try to. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate that because because it is a whole new industry and so many things are evolving and really a lot of times the, the companies don't always know. They need to hear it from you, they need to mm -hmm. hear it from us and the end consumer, how we can improve and continue to, to work there. One more thing on this bike is this protection that you really need when it comes to city bike. Correct, uh, we yeah. did find a way to attach it to the swing arm here and to the mud guard so the protection will follow the work of the suspension so you are protected anytime you ride with it yeah not so easy to achieve that on a full suspension bike not really it <laughs> seems simple when it's done but it has been an important part of the development i, I like it i like it all right so what's let's go this? nice this one is samedi 28 samedi in french means saturday it's the kind of bike you can ride on the weekend with your family on the backcountry roads yeah but it's also a city bike you can use for your commuter travel. Excellent. 
When I show you this bike, I can show you what we have done with the Bosch system. As I said, we have renewed the, nearly the war range because with Bosch coming with a power tube system, right. we were a huge fan of the power pack since the beginning. Yeah. So uh, we had to adapt all our frames and our concept to the power tube system. The first thing was that the power tube <coughs> is longer, is heavier than the power pack. So right. it completely changed the gravity center of the bike. And as I said, our bike are smiling machine. <laughs> so we really need to have something that is playful and you will be happy to ride with. So the first test we have done with the power tube, we are not so happy with, so we have to work a lot to adapt it to what we wanted to our bike. Right, because you know a lot of people were surprised initially that you didn't introduce the power tube in, when it was initially released. Mm -hmm. And I get the sense now that, yeah, you guys had something working in the background and you, you knew what was going on. You also knew that maybe some new motors are coming and let's make this work as a complete concept because exactly. we know this current concept works. And, and I, I got to respect that. I mean, I think that sometimes companies are in a rush to introduce the new technology, but when something works, you, you know, it sometimes makes sense just to stick with it and, and you mm -hmm. improve when, when it exactly. makes sense. Yeah, exactly. The, the main thing was that the power tube 625 is longest than the 500. Right. So right. if we started last year with a frame, we had to remake this frame again this year. Yeah. So we're now coming directly with some frame that are only for the power tube 625 length. Right. What we've done is that we have made this adapter. Wow. This adapter is to allow us to have a 400 or 500 Bosch power tube with a 625 lens. So this is a moustache item that you can order through us. Yes. Uh, you will still order the battery from Bosch. So the idea is that <coughs> we use this battery on this frame and it will allow you also, when you have to remove the battery, it's also an hang. Ah, so you know, yeah. On, on that kind of city bike where you're not technical people when you ride that kind of city. You don't sure. want to have some trouble. So the battery is on the top, so it's pretty easy to remove. And then you just have to take it like that and switch it out. That is perfect. I love it. So it's I very it. easy. Really cool. Really cool design. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great. So this is the, the 28. You talked a little bit about mm -hmm. it. And the open is, uh, is also a completely new concept on this one as well. Open it is, yeah. yeah. Uh, the idea was to have an open frame that is still a moustache one, as I right. told you already several times, sure. we needed to have a very strong, stiff and rigid frame. A, a frame that will not move when we are riding. We will use this to the MTB platform. So we need something really strong. Yeah. What we have done is that we have a free cavity tube here. So you can see that the main cavity is, is for the battery only. And then you have two cavities here that are trapezoidal and it makes really the stiffness and the strength. So it's kind of, of the, the double wall uh, exactly. in, inside. And, exactly. And you guys also use a similar concept in your fenders, in the mud guards it's as well, right? Exactly the same thing as we used on the fender. Uh, and so there are several benefits for that. First benefit is that we can now have an open frame that is still a real moustache, but we can also have a frame that is very easy to produce for us. Yes. We, the, the cable goes down directly wow, into right, this cavity, right. so you have no interference with the battery. For us in production, it's very easy because you just have to slide the cable in. And even for a shop, when it comes to for the service side, yeah, service is very easy. Absolutely. One more important thing is that we use this frame also for MTB application. Right. So this frame is compatible with an adjustable seat post. And ah. it's something that maybe will come in the next future because you know when you arrive for the urban area it at works a traffic too. light. Yeah, I have it on my bike and, and I ride exactly. it, you know, just in the city and I love having the mm. dropper seat. When post. you arrive at the traffic light, you just have to lower it down. Yeah. You're comfortable yeah. seated on the bike and then off you go. This bike is ready for that. That's excellent. So it has the it has the ability and I guess what it's through this port and you can yeah. run the cable through there. Exactly. And, no problem. and with this is pretty easy. Wow. That's really great. Some more nice feature about this bike is still the moustache handlebar. Same way, it helps you to feel great on the bike and to enjoy your ride. We have modified a bit also the tires that are now more wide. They are 38 width tires, so it adds more comfort. Yeah. 
I definitely appreciate that. And now color match fenders as well, which is uh, pretty s special. Yeah, pretty special, but I think it gives a pretty nice... It, it definitely does. And then you guys are using the MIK rack, I see. Yeah, right. We, we will use this um, with the MIK, as, as you said, from the company Buzzil. Yeah. It allows you to have several items to clip on your right. system, so it's very easy, very convenient, and you have a huge catalog of accessories. Yeah, actually, using the QL3 with this makes it easier that you can put the bag and the basket on the top. Exactly. You can Oftentimes, that's difficult to do with the, the normal clipping system. Yeah, you can put so everything I, on it. So I could certainly appreciate that. Again, good, good look at that open frame, which is quite special for you guys. I like that quite a bit. Um, so from here, maybe we can check out the X-Road. There is one more thing that I want to show you with this bike. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, don't no let me problem. interrupt. It yes, is yes. there. It's, I've just shown you what was new, but yes. we have another feature that is the 28.1. 28.1 is our entry level bike. Yeah. The idea was that Moustache, pretty usual in Europe, is known as a pretty high range brand. And sometimes people think that a moustache is too expensive for them. Right, right. So we wanted to have a price point bike, but what was still a real moustache. Yes. You yes, know, sure. I talk a lot about DNA. You can't compromise on certain elements. This exactly, we, we don't want to. Right. So we will still keep the moustache handlebar, still the fenders that you know with a double wall, still our frame with polished welding. So it's still the real moustache, but at a price point that allow people to access to that kind of bike and to access to our brand. Excellent. Really like it. Okay, so I jumped the gun before, but let's let's try the uh, check out the X-Road, right? X-Road, let's All go. All right, I'm very excited about yeah, this Yeah, I, I see you are. The X-Road line was kind of a missing link, in fact, on the market. So you can see that now you can find that kind of bikes on uh, several brands. Uh, but we were one of the first to, pro to propose that. The idea was that we had some people riding mountain bike, but wanted to ride also on roads. Right. And we had people going to work all days, and on the weekend they want to go on the forest with family. Right. So we needed something that can be the best of both worlds. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So we use the same frames platform that we have on the city bikes, but we had some small features like sometimes different suspension fork, an handlebar that is a bit between an MTB and a city bike handlebar. And the most important are those tires. Because yes. those tires from Hutchinson, you can have a very fast rolling bend here when you are on tarmac. And as soon as you arrive on the gravel, the complete tire bites the gravel. Right, right. Yeah, that's excellent. And still going with the same style mud guards and everything else, and that's that's really cool. Oh. So this is kind of the, the entry into the X road, right? And yeah, then, exactly. And then we have some updates for the other models. Exactly. You come with this one, still with a power pack. It's our access bike to the range, sure. as I told you just before with another bike. And then you go with all the new detail we already seen on some wow. bikes. So you will see that we use with the um, Active Plus or Performance engine, we use the vertical battery, the vertical power tube I showed you a few minutes before. Yep. You can identify it because the top cap is on the top. Great. When we change for that kind of bike, by example, with the, the FS. Yeah, with the FS that use the performance CX, you will see that the cover is down from the right. tube. Right. So it's what clearly identifies it's because we use the power tube but the horizontal one. Mm. Uh, we had one thing once again, we wanted to lower the gravity center of the bike the maximum right, as it's right. possible. So we have done something on one of our bikes. And, over and there. by the way, just one quick question on this. I know you have this concept on here for the ability mm. to run the 400 watt hour. Is it also adaptable to? It is also adaptable on the CX and horizontal version. We have it for both. That is excellent, yeah. But that's that's great to know, and and also you know sometimes people might want to say like, oh, can I get it as light as possible, that sort of thing, and mm -hmm. maybe they can go 400 watt hour just of for course. the special race day or something like that. Even our, of, on our top of a range mountain bike, if right. you want to use the 500 power tube instead right. of a 625, you can. It's possible. Yeah. You just need this adapter. Just that adapter. Great, great, cool. 
really the, the X Road, it's just quite beautiful. Um, and, and the colors that you guys choose, I gotta say, I mean, beyond just the design of the bike, the colors, I'm always really thoroughly impressed by, by what, what, yeah. what you do there. So. As you say, we try to think out of the box and try to make something. So uh, sometimes we are wondering, will it work, will it not? Because sometimes it's a bit kind of a surprise, but yeah, yeah. we work a lot on, on that. Yeah, I love it, I love it. And uh, so yeah, you, more, so the, the X Road is a really full range, but but for you guys, it's been quite popular. It's a very important range for us. Yeah. It's maybe one of the one we sell the most because it was, as I said, kind of a missing link. Yeah. So you will see, we go until the 0.7 on the X Road uh, like that, because this one is already nearly a mountain bike. Right. You see, right. we use the Performance CX, and we are, you have a bike that is ready to to use it even on some mountains if you want. We had a conversation with somebody just yesterday on this topic because, you know, a lot of times people say, okay, I got this bike, I want to commute to work with it. Mm -hmm. I said, I know that's what you think, that's all you want to do with it, but the reality is you're going to want to ride everywhere once mm -hmm. you start riding it, right? A smiling machine, you want to smile all the time, all the not, time just, right. not just, mm -hmm. you know, riding to work, which is great too, right? So. Okay. Um, one more thing on this bike, if you permit me, is that, as I said, we had to adapt to the Bosch power tube compared right, to what right. we have done. On this bike, you can see inside, we had to make, one more time, we like at Moustache to make our own design and own parts. We have made this specific part. The fixation of a battery is not the standard Bosch battery, it's a Moustache fixation. So we use the Bosch battery with our kind of fixation. Oh wow, yeah. This allows us to lower the battery the maximum close to the engine. Yeah. You know, we have around three to three, two to three millimeters between the motor and the battery, not more. So you, you, you just made the extra space that everyone thought was not there. Exactly. <laughs> so the battery sits the lowest as possible and even we have some other benefits. By example, the fixation here, the two bolts are like that and not vertical, so you have more strength, more yeah. rigidity. When you will change the battery uh, hundreds of time, you will not have play that is appearing. One more important feature is that we don't use two bolts, but three bolts. We have a third bolt that is here to attach this system. Right, right. More than the rigidity, it allows also to not, how to say, the, the battery cannot be stolen. Mm. Because if you remove just the two bolts here, you can steal the battery. It's <laughs> we, not easy. We don't want too many people <laughs> to know about this topic, though. You know, but but I but I understand what you're saying for sure, and and, and I appreciate you guys thinking about that mm. because that's that's an important detail. You know, we have the the key for the lock up there, but you know, there's there's always ways to to break things. So yeah. Adding security. With this system. We're from New York, yeah. you know, so we <laughs> okay. need that extra security. For okay. Sure. So you get it because with this point, it's nearly impossible yeah. to do anything if you don't have remove the battery first with the key. Yeah, absolutely. And so we got this bike. This has been a real favorite for us, the Tandem, uh -huh. and uh, just just an awesome bike. And it just kind of shows, you know, what you guys can do and. You know, because even with, with this, this is, you know, the, the, the thing that's consistent in the story is just, you can't tell us no, you know. You can't say, no, it's not possible, because previously, oh, it's not possible to have two chain rings on the Bosch system. Right. Oh, it's not possible to do this and that, but, oh, no, we can figure it out. Yeah, there is only a way to do things. This bike is really surprising, because uh, when we started it, it was, it was kind of, you know, we wanted to do that, say it was kind of a marketing item. Yeah. And each time I go in the, inside the factory, because all the bikes are assembled in France directly, right. yeah. each time I go to the factory and I see all of the tandem being built, I say, where, where do they go? <laughs> no? this, this bike is really impre impressive. Yeah. So, yeah. What we see is that all the shops that have this bike in test, we, yeah. we really insist on the test because... Absolutely. For the e-bike it's important, but even more for our brand to really understand the brand, you have to test the bike. Absolutely. If you test the bike, you want it. Right, right, yeah. I love it, I love it. Cool. So let's check out some more stuff. Let's do it. Yeah, maybe the Dimanche 28? Yeah, that sounds great. D 
Dimanche 28 is our view of what a road bike could be. Yeah. We don't want it to have uh, a road bike that was for competition people. Right. No, right. There is only some offer on the market. Uh, what we want is to open to everybody. Yeah. So we have made a bike. It starts with a point one that is here, where you can have a road bike with a flat handlebar in open version. The open version is available even on the top of a range bikes. That's also important for us because open version can be for everybody. Yeah, why not? It can be for, I don't know, when you are not so tall, uh, if you had some back problem, if you have some health problem, yeah. some woman will like, some woman will not like. So or you have a shorter inseam or something like exactly. that, you want to protect yourself, you know? Exactly. The open version <laughs> is really for everybody. We want to open this bike to everybody. Okay. What I is like the it. most important thing on this family is that we've used the Active Plus from Bosch. Right. That is very well known as a city uh, motor. Sure. But in fact, it's not. It's a pretty good motor for a lot of application. It will not, how to say, uh, use too much of the battery. Right, right. So you can go really long yeah. distances. Exactly. The second thing is that when you pass the maximum limitation, you don't feel the cutting of the motor. Right, right. And on a road I bike... I found that, especially because mm. I've been spending some time on the Lundy, and quite often I go beyond the, yeah, the limitation, it. and it's just really totally seamless. Yeah. When you, when you look at your computer, you see that you already cut the, the motor, <laughs> but you didn't feel it. And that was the key point on that bike. Right. Uh, very often people ask me about autonomy and weight on that kind of bike. Yeah. As soon as you have tested it, you don't have a question anymore. Yeah. Uh, we've done a press presentation uh, with some very well-known journalists, with Julien Absalon, also our world champ and Olympic champ. Yeah. And it was 100K, 1,000 meter of elevation, uh, and totally different people using the bikes. And everybody could ride together. That was the first key point. Yeah. You yeah. cannot do that with a normal road bike. That's true. The That's second true. thing is that coming back, people still add from 90% left for Julien, but he's a pro rider, so whatever. Yeah. It's not really a, <laughs> a thing. But even for normal people, not sporty, uh, they were still having 52% of battery. Yeah. So that means wow. you can ride 200 kilometers, 2,000 meters of elevation without being sporty on this bike, and you still have some battery. That's but, really great. Tant pis, Philippe, on aussi. And I see the, the fork looks uh, a little unique on here as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Can you tell me something about the that? The fork is a moustache fork. We also use this fork on other items. We've made a carbon fork made by moustache it's a complete carbon fork. It will help to reduce the vibration. Uh, it has a specific offset also. Uh, we've worked a lot on that to make the bike really easy to handle. I know that that's something that you guys really focus on quite a bit because even on the mountain bikes, like you have your own rims and all these little details. Exactly. It's like, this is not on the market. It's not optimal for our application. We're going to make it ourselves. And exactly. I, I love that. I really do. I mean, I think that that's, Really, again, like it's the DNA of mustache. It's to, the DNA of to mustache. To invent and improve and to... Exactly. This, this product are just not a mustache sticker on it. It's right. a mustache designed product. Right. Right. And that's pretty important because it's what sometimes makes our bikes feeling great. By yeah. example, on the road bike, you use the motor to launch yourself. But as soon as the motor cut it, if the bike rolls by itself, it's easy. Yeah. So we've worked a lot on the wheels. Right, right. So these are your own wheels as well on, on these? Own so. wheels, own fork. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Always. Excellent. So maybe we can just take a peek at this one. We'll see yeah, if so we can, sorry, excuse we me can again, excuse we ourselves to, for just, just a moment. Yeah, this one. Wrong. How do you say? Yeah, Pardon me? No. <laughs> excuse moi? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. You. That's yeah, appropriate sorry. response. I don't know French too well, but wow. So, yeah. So this is the standard frame and uh, really striking. Uh, so this one is a point three. You will see it as a Tiagra group with a new Tiagra. And then we will go up with a Dura Haze. As you can see, maybe below, there is an open version even on an high range one. Yes. Awesome. And you have more bikes in this similar sort of concept as well. So this is the Dimanche 
28. 28. Yeah, because and then fight. we have the Dimanche, Dimanche 29. 29. That is a gravel bike. So let's check this out. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Sorry. So we, this bike is a gravel bike. So you know now what the gravel trend is. And it's a super this, exciting this bike. This is a very big trend in the US for sure. Exactly. Everywhere it becomes. Uh, one of the good points with this bike is that you can use it as a gravel bike, but as the motor is here and not in the wheel, you can use whatever wheel you want. Right. So you can have two pair of wheels, one for gravel, one for road bike. When it right. comes to ride on Sunday with your friends, if you want to make a road bike application, it's possible. You just have to switch the wheel. That's pretty easy. <clears throat> we wanted a bike that will be very easy to use. So we, we've used this bar with a lot of flair. Sure. Uh, people are sometimes not used to it, but as soon as you test it, you love it because it's so right, comfortable. Right. Definitely a growing trend as well. And, and using the similar carbon fork on there as well. The it is the same. And uh, the difference with the Dimanche 28 one is that this one is a bit reinforced to okay. assume the gravel use. Or rougher, rougher uh, riding. We also have something is that you can place a low rider rack on the front. Somebody wants to do some touring or something like touring that. Touring or traveling in Europe, traveling with that kind of bike is really the key uh, of this kind of bikes. So you can have a rear rack, front rack, mud guards. Uh, you can put whatever you want uh, on it. And so you can imagine uh, living for one week without, uh, you can charge your battery sometime, but you can also sleep in the woods, yeah. making a fire, like whatever. Bike packing and stuff bike like that. Packing, I mean, this exactly. is really, that, that sort of design uh, makes it a lot of sense. Really can be a traveling bike. Yeah, absolutely. So, for and then this is just another, yeah. in addition to, the, to uh, the 29. To for those we want <coughs> to use this as the top of a range, uh, so you will find kind of the same feature as the other one. There is some pretty nice thing is that we will use a dropper post oh, wow. on this one. Yeah. Because, you know, this bike can be used also on some even nearly mountain bike use. So right. the dropper post completely makes sense. A little more aggressive, yeah. yeah. The pretty nice feature is that we, we use the GRX system. And with the GRX system, you can use this lever to activate the dropper post. Wow. And that's pretty cool. That is super cool. Wow. That's really amazing. Really beautiful designs. Okay. You will notice one more difference between Dimension 28 and 29 is the performance right. motor. We use the Active Plus here, performance here. The thing is this motor is nearly the same. So uh, you have the same benefits as the Active Plus but the performance on this bike helps to have something more punchy. A little, you know? little extra torque and yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Excellent. So you got some more stuff to show us. I know this is amazing already, we, but we let's, haven't let's seen keep it all going. the mountain bike side. So <laughs> if you want to follow me to the mountain bike side, let's get into it. Yeah. So this bike's pretty small. I mean, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, we want to, as one more time at Moustache, we want to open e-bike to everybody. Yeah. Uh, we did feel that sometimes kids could want to ride with the parents. Uh, you can use it both ways. Parents can have an e-bike also and all the family will go by e-bikes. Right, or sometimes right. the parents have a standard bike, but the kids cannot follow the parents. Yes. yes. So with this bike, your kids will be faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> so believe me, that's pretty good because you can make a real mountain bike loop yeah, with your kid yeah. and it will be easier for him and it will be on only fun and smiling things again. Love it, love right. it. And which motor is this using on here? Uh, this one is the Active Plus and okay, we, will, we will use exactly the same tube as the Dimanche 28 road bike you have seen. Perfect, yeah. The idea love on that it. kind of bike is to have the bike that is the lightest as possible and using the power pack with our reversed Iden power, it helps us to have a battery that is seated very low. Wow. But it's really not heavy. We use, we use the 300 watt hour battery, but it's way enough. The US, for I a think kid. we'll probably do 400 ah, because probably. But, but it's. Probably. It's okay. Yeah, perfect. That's excellent. And you have this monster over here. Yeah. We'll check it out. This is a wild. The wild, as I said, it's kind of a monster. <laughs> it says it all, right? It's it just says a, it all, absolutely. A wild bike. Yeah. Uh, this bike is a huge success for us because you can ride it, whatever it's in the sand or in the snow. Uh, 
you can see that you have some pretty big tires. Yeah, 4.8. I mean, you know, usually you see the fat bike with four inch. 4.8 mm -hmm. is yeah. not so not so common. It's not so easy to actually accomplish this. Yeah. But again, <laughs> there's no surprise for yeah, you guys. Yeah, exactly. You know? that, that bike is a bike we use a lot on, on Europe for rental bikes in yeah. a ski resort, right, normally in right. winter. We have also some specific uh, tracks on winter where you don't have skiers, people and you can ride it on the snow and really enjoy it. So I know in some country like Canada, it can be a completely different way. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it is like we ride it on Europe, but or here, I you think know, you have even sometimes more Sometimes in California, we want to ride in the sand exactly. or whatever it might be. Mm. And really uh, quite, quite cool. Um, beautiful design again. And, and one thing, as I'm sure you're going to share with us, I mean, the mountain bikes for you guys is, is huge. And yeah, you also have some championships and that sort of yes. thing as well. Uh, yeah, we have some a pretty good team, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> team La We're doing a pretty good job, right? Oh, thank you. We Keeping try. it humble there, you know, I like that. I like no, that. We... But let's check out some of the, the mountain bikes. Let's, let's, let's go to see. I will show you the bike that I've been second and first at the last world championship in Canada that was last week. Wow. It's this bike, the white one. Yeah. It's our trail bike. Uh, the trail is a 27 plus 150 millimeter travel bike. Yeah. We wanted to have different kind of mountain bike and to people could be easy to understand which kind of bike they want. Right, so right. today the trail, as I said, 150 is a 27 bike. Uh, to be honest, we have the game that is there, that is exactly the same frame, but in 29, 160. Yes. Our rider at the World Championship did use the trail for his capabilities while pedaling fast, but they did use 29 inch wheels. Oh, wow. It is possible because on the frame, we have this flip chip that you can reverse. Yes. And it adapts the geometry of the bike from 27 to 29 of the opposite. Wow, that's really great. Yeah, because that's that's something that's going on quite a bit now that people are switching to 29. And historically, you guys also did some bikes in a mixture, 29, exactly. 27.5. The trends are always changing. So the ability to have that adaptation and, and for riders really to select whatever they really prefer. Mm, exactly. That's, that's tremendous. That's pretty easy because with a split chip, you can use the trail as a 27 as it's in intended, right. but you can also choose 29. And the same for the game that is over there. You can downsize it to a 27 plus. Excellent. On this bike, I want to show you something really specific. Is our own rear shock. Yes. As we said, um, we don't put stickers on products that are not ours. Okay? Right. Uh, we really develop product and we really developed this shock for this bike. Uh, of course, it's a lot of development. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of work on that. Um, we had some features that you already know, uh, by example, the trunnion system that allows the suspension to be very sensitive thanks to the bearing here. But what you cannot see, you can only feel when you ride the bike, is what we have done inside. Right, right. We have uh, a ribbon adjustment internal. Uh, we call it the magic grip piston. Okay. <laughs> like it, like What's it. the effect of this system? Is that the way the internal are done for the oil flow, it makes you feel like if an invisible end is pushing you while climbing. Right, right. Because that's the key thing. I mean, for a non-electric bike, the climbing is a very different experience, right? Exactly. But with electric, it's really critical that you maintain that traction when you're, when you're climbing. And I think I often find this on electric mountain bikes when I'm climbing, I feel like I'm losing the traction, but not so much on a mustache bike. From the beginning, this is in a, a big, specialty of you guys. Yeah, it's the, it's the way the rebound is working that makes you get a lot of traction on the ground. But even with this new system, the more deep and uh, more steep the track is, the more you will feel that when the shock is extended, it pushes the bike on the front. Right. So you really feel like you are in good shape. Yeah. Okay? And that was something very important on this bike because it's an e-bike, very often people think about e-bike that, okay, it's an e-bike, it has a motor, so you don't have to pedal, or you can put a lot of weight on it, but no, it's exactly the same as a normal bike. Right, right. Each gram that you can weight 
each uh, good feature that can help you is some power that you will keep or some um, I'll say autonomy that you will have more. It's something we will work on. Love it. Love it. And the same dropper post, everything really fully spec'd out, even from yeah. the entry into the range, CX of and everything else. This one is our Trail 4, is the entry level bike. Yeah. Uh, but we wanted it to look like an iron bike. Sure. You know, because you buy a moustache and you really have to appreciate your bike. Yeah. So if you want to take a look at the game Let's range. Let's do it, yeah. The thing between those two bikes are you have to understand the philosophy of each one, even if they look really close. You want one bike that is really the smiling machine. Yeah. The Trail 27 is a bike that is fun, playful. You will jump, Just take anybody corners. Anybody can kind of hop on this thing and really, and really enjoy it. It's so it. easy. It is a smiling machine. Right, right. When it comes to the game, it's just a bit more travel, 29 inch wheels, but this one can really be a racing machine. Right. Okay. It is fast even if you don't feel fast. Yeah. It is secure for you and you will ride faster than what you thought, yeah. but in total yeah. security. Excellent. Yeah. Because um, the, the, the larger wheel, in the, the width of the tire, we're still doing we, 2.5 on, 2 2 yes. on here, 2.8 so on here. It's less extreme on the plus, but right. the 29-inch wheel uh, right. help. And in another way, it's a different kind of riding. This right. is more aggressive and nearly right. competitive. This is what the, the competitive riders are usually using, yeah, the 29 sure. as opposed to 27.5. But, but for most riders, if you're not as experienced, having a little bit of a wider tire, a mm -hmm. little bit more comfortable, a little bit more traction and control. So really important to consider, but, but very capable bikes and, and really amazing designs. Uh, super excited about getting these in the shop. and. Um, mm -hmm. And getting them out on the trail, I think uh, we, we should be seeing you many have, more of them. You have to test them for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will love them. That's it. That's it. Cool. Well, hey, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time with us. It's no super problem. informative. With pleasure. And I know you do training for you know for many different people. Yeah, so for people. If anybody, this is the guy to to get the information. So we we appreciate it because I know that you know it's. There's some complexity. It's you know, it's more than just a pretty bike, right? It is. And it is definitely. You have to understand all the small detail and all the love right. we did put on that kind of right. bike. When you ride it, you understand it. But exactly. You know, but we need to communicate something here. So that's it. Thank you again for your time and everything. You're welcome. And uh, look forward to seeing you. Out Thank there. you. And right. have a good show. All right. Bye bye.